Santiago, now that the Risk Conference has concluded here at your church, how do you feel um, it, it went? Oh, I thought it was powerful. I was very excited. It was the most exciting thing was to see how quickly the guys were ready to connect in the times of the discussions. Every single time we had a discussion time, it was like they just jumped on board. Everybody had something to say. Everybody had something to learn, which is good because it really prepares the way from what we're trying to build here as far as our community is men connecting with other men without having to need to have a charismatic speaker behind it. Now that Kenny wasn't great, he was powerful in the delivery of his message, but the key thing is what's going to linger the long run is the capacity of these guys to connect. And I think a connection has been made and we are going to continue to nourish that connection, grow that connection, and just like the human cell splits, just as, as growth develops, just continue to take over our community by basically establishing smaller settings of community with other men. So we are very excited. We pray that these communities will go from meeting at home to meeting at the place where poverty is and where need is and where brokenness is so that we can really come full circle as our role as a man, you know. We, we, um, an army is, they train together but they also fight together. So, but they can fight together and bleed for each other if they don't know one another. So that's what we're very excited. So praise God.